Good day friends, I am Dr. S.K. Gupta and I am going to talk to you about fibroids and the effects of fibroids on the health and pregnancy. I am going to talk about three cases in this video. One is the case of fibroids with pregnancy. How does the fibroids help the pregnancy or disturb the pregnancy? In this you can see that she is a young patient and she has come to us with the pain and bleeding and she has a early pregnancy of about six weeks duration and these are the small fibroids in the fundus of the uterus and you can see they are hypoechoic small areas and these fibroids they can cause disturbance in the pregnancy. The most common disturbance the fibroids they cause is the pain and the bleeding and second is the abortion but abortion is not so common it is the pain and the bleeding which is the most common symptom of the fibroids. Second the question which most of the patients and the doctors want to know do the fibroids increase in size and if at all they increase in size what size of fibroids increase. It is said that the fibroids which are nearly 4 to 5 centimeters in size they can increase with the pregnancy. The very small fibroids or the very large fibroids do not increase with the pregnancy. So this patient is having a fibroid around 2.5 centimeters in size. This fibroid is not likely to increase as the pregnancy advances and she can safely continue with her uh, pregnancy though it has to be continued under the guidance of a doctor and she is having a live pregnancy. She is very lucky that she has conceived and we wish that she continues to have the pregnancy unabated and the complication free pregnancy. This is the second case where the patient is around 30 years of age and she has only one child and she wants to conceive again but she has a very large hypoechoic fibroid in the fundus of the uterus and this fibroid measures nearly 2 inches in size and this patient is not able to conceive despite her best efforts. She has a child which is around 10 years of age and she has been trying to conceive for 10 years. Now she has to go for the surgery of this fibroid and to take a chance if she can conceive after the surgery. And this is the video of a patient who is around 40 years of age who has come to us with anemia. She does not have many symptoms but she has persistent anemia because she keeps on having heavy menstrual bleeding, menorrhagia and she has taken multiple transfusions and she has multiple fibroids and the uterus is very bulky and it is pretty large in size and because she is having menorrhagia, heavy bleeding and recurrent bleeding she has uh, the bleeding cycles which have been shortened to about 15 to 20 days and her bleeding continues that you heavy bleeding continues for a period of about 7 to 8 days this patient should get a surgery done because she is having anemia and a lot of blood is passed uh, during the menses and this patient should seriously consider getting herself operated this is a video of another patient who has multiple fibroids but she does not have any symptoms except the dyspnea and the dyspnea means that the patient de develops pain during the sexual intercourse and this patient uh, except that this symptom she does not have any any other symptoms and she can take a chance whether to go for the fibroid uh, uh, excision or she continue with the uh, dyspnea and depending upon on, on her symptoms. I hope you like this video in case you like it please do subscribe to our channel do not forget to press the like button and share the video among your friends so that large number of people can be benefited. Thank you very much.